Preparing MagPix. Preparing MagPix includes removing the shipping plug, installing the sample probe, and installing the dry fluid. To remove the shipping plug, number one, inside the side access panel of MagPix, a shipping plug holds the sample probe in place. Use the door access tool included in the accessory tray to open the side access panel and remove the plug. Caution! MagPix should not be plugged into a power source when you open this compartment. Next, locate the door access tool in a small plastic bag in the accessory tray of the overpack. Your third step is to insert the tool in the side access panel latch. Turn the tool one eighth of a turn clockwise and slide the panel to the right. Fourth, locate the shipping plug and probe assembly. Your fifth step is to raise the probe assembly. Next, hold MagPix on the top with your left hand to stabilize it while pushing the probe assembly toward the other side of the instrument with your right hand. The probe assembly requires some firm pressure to move. Now, with the probe assembly out of the way, lift out the shipping plug. MagPix comes with two sample probes, but the probe is not pre-installed. To install the sample probe, first, locate the sample probe, which is shipped in a tube in the accessory tray. Next, pull the probe assembly towards you and push it down. Your third step is to completely unscrew the probe fitting on top of the probe holder by turning it counterclockwise. Your fourth step, put the probe into the opening left by the probe fitting. It should slip down and catch at the bottom of the opening. Reinstall the probe fitting tightening it until it clicks into place. Lastly, close and latch the side access panel. The MagPix overpack also includes a carton containing two containers of dry fluid. To install the dry fluid, first, locate the carton of dry fluid containers. Open the carton and remove a container of dry fluid. Open the fluid compartment door on the front of MagPix. On the left side of the fluid compartment, you'll find the dry fluid tube and plug. Pull it forward until it extends outside of the compartment. Place it to the left to allow room to insert the dry fluid container. Your fourth step, insert the dry fluid container part of the way into the fluid compartment and remove the seal. Now, we're going to insert the dry fluid tube and plug it into the opening on top of the dry fluid container. Slide the container into the tray on the left side of the fluid compartment. The container tray is constructed to hold the container in place. After the container is fully inserted, check the valve on the front of the waste fluid container to make sure it is securely attached and close the door of the fluid compartment. We have now reached the end of the procedure. Please choose the next step from the MagPix menu.